Welcome to DIY or Die. Today we're talking about my top 10 worst flavorings to buy. So let's begin. First one on the list, it's the Notorious TFA Honey. But TFA Honey is known to be a really bad flavoring. It's such a bad flavoring, in fact, that Skittles actually got his breakthrough by vaping some on camera. Here's the TFA Honey. Oh, God. <coughs> this tastes like being in Ohio. The dirt really, really shines. Same with the um, dirty laundry. But it's just not a good flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like honey, that's for sure. It doesn't taste sweet. It just has a really terrible off note to it. And uh, no one recommends it. Don't pick it up. You're gonna regret it if you pick it up. If you want something that's like honey, you can choose butterscotches or certain caramels like uh, Flavor West Butterscotch Natural, or you can choose something like Flavor Arts Caramel or Flavor Arts Butterscotch. They kind of have like a honey feel, uh, Milk and Honey by Flavora. So you're gonna see me giving you some alternatives to flavors in those profiles that should help you out and should give you a better uh, recipe really in the end. The next on the list is TFA Cheesecake. TFA Cheesecake is just horrendous. It tastes like spoiled milk. It is not good. When I first found out about TFA Cheesecake, a shop near me would mix up uh, recipes that you can ask. And I asked for a strawberry cheesecake. It was a flavor that I liked. They mixed it up for me. They gave it to me. I vaped it and it was the most disgusting juice I've ever had. I'm assuming they just took TFA cheesecake and TFA strawberry and put them together. And that was not a good experience. Obviously better cheesecakes out there. Capella's New York cheesecake, TFA's cheesecake with graham crust. It's crazy how TFA cheesecake with graham crust is a completely different flavor compared to TFA Cheesecake. They're just two different flavors completely. TFA Cheesecake Graham Crust, super versatile, great flavor, has a little bit of texture to it, it's awesome to use. Cheesecake, there's nothing, there's no redeeming qualities about it, leave it out. If you are looking for like a cheesier cheesecake, check out Flavor West Cheesecake, that one's a little bit, has a little bit more of like that sour milk note, but it's usable, and that sour milk note is more akin to like a yogurt. Next on the list is TFA Blue Raspberry. I actually do have some of TFA's Blue Raspberry, and I find that this flavoring just does not taste like blue raspberry. It's just really, really light. You're not gonna get much flavor out of it. It's really annoying to use because it just is not compatible with a lot of things. I just find this be I just find this to be completely useless. It doesn't taste like blue raspberry. It's not sweet, it's not fruity. There's nothing really redeeming about it. Other blue raspberry flavorings that you can choose, Liquid Barnes Blue Raspberry is easily the best one out there. There's not many good ones. So check out Liquid Barnes Blue Raspberry. That one's pretty damn good. And last of TFA's list is TFA Black Tea. Now, does it taste like black tea? Absolutely not. It, to me, what it tastes like is a, is a mix between fresh cut grass and somewhat of like a Hendrix gin. It has a very pungent alcohol note to it. It's just very floral, very earthy, and not in a good way. If you need an alcohol flavor, if you need a gin, and you're thinking about using black tea, I would suggest you check out Vape Train's gin and Vape Train's alcohols. They do it a lot better. This one is just very picky. It's, it's just really difficult to use. And if you're using it for a tea, I wouldn't. It tastes nothing like black tea whatsoever. Next on the list is Capella's Pumpkin Pie Spice. Now, this is a pumpkin spice flavor and it's not the worst flavoring ever. I just suggest that you stay away from this if you're looking to make any sort of pumpkin pie flavor. If you want a pumpkin spice, Flavor West Pumpkin Spice is a lot better, it's a lot more usable. This is very watery, it's very earthy, there's just really weird off notes with it. It sticks out like a sore thumb. I do not recommend Capella's Pumpkin Pie. I think this is one of their worst flavors. It's probably their worst flavor. And uh, just, don't, just don't pick it up. It is not a very good ingredient, and you're gonna have a very difficult time trying to mix, especially a, a pumpkin spice, with this ingredient. It's just too... It's just too bad, it's just not good. Next, we're talking about Flavor Arts Chocolate. This is a shame because when you open it up and you smell it and you taste it, it does smell like a sweet chocolate. But as soon as you mix it into a recipe, it turns into a wet balloon, a Band-Aid. That, that latex flavor is extremely prominent with Flavor Arts Chocolate. Flavor Arts Cocoa also packs a little bit of that latex flavor, and that's at least for me, so this is all on my palate. But that cocoa also has a little bit more of a redeeming quality to it than chocolate, because this just does not work well in recipes. The off notes are very present. It's not chocolatey, it's not rich, it's kind of watery, and it lingers, and it's just 
Don't pick it up. I'm telling you, you're going to regret it. Some alternatives for flavor arts chocolate, while there's really not many, you can check out Flavor's Milk Chocolate. That one's probably the best milk chocolate or Jungle Flavors Milk Chocolate. If you want like a darker chocolate, uh, check out Cocoa and try to work that into things. Next on the list is Flavor's Trix Cereal. Now, it's not the worst flavoring ever. Uh, it does have a, it does have somewhat of a cereal quality to it, but to me, it just tastes like it was built wrong. There's a lot of off notes to it. It just doesn't taste correct. It tastes like it was, something went wrong in the production of it. You get a little bit of like a Fruit loop sort of a uh, cereal note, but then it's backed up with all these weird off notes and it's just it's just not a good cereal. And the reason why I'm putting it on this list is because there's so many other cereals that are much better on the market, such as TFA's Fruit Circles or Flavor West Fruity Flakes, any of the Flavor West cereals. You can check out Flavor Arts Breakfast Cereals, which is more of like an oat cereal. Capella's Silver Line Fruit Circles is, is a lot better. There's just so many more better options in terms of cereals. Next, we're getting into Inuera's, and the next one is Inuera's Milk Chocolate, the new version. Again, it packs that Band-Aid flavor. Just pick up Jungle Flavors Milk Chocolate or Favor's Milk Chocolate. Uh, T even TFA's Double Chocolate Clear or TFA's uh, Milk Chocolate, those are a lot better as well. They're just a little softer, they're a little lighter. And it's a shame because Inuera's Milk Chocolate was one of the best chocolates on the market. It was, it was the best chocolate on the market. It was a delicious flavor. You could put it as high as you want into anything and it, and it packed a really syrupy milk chocolate flavor and then they changed the formula and now it tastes like a Band-Aid, a wet balloon, a soggy condom. It's just a, not a good experience. And the same goes for Inuera's Chocolate Mint except it's even more pronounced on that wet Band-Aid, that latex flavor. It's, it's even worse than the new milk chocolates. Just stay away from both of those chocolates. Stay away from anything to do with Anywhere chocolates. And then the last one on the list is Anywhere Strawberry Kiss. It's floral, it's fragrant, it's chemical, it's medicinal, all in the worst ways possible. It's not juicy. It, it's just a terrible flavor. Stay away from it. If you want a better strawberry flavor, there's so many others on the market. TFA Strawberry, TFA Strawberry Ripe, Capella Sweet Strawberry, FA's Juicy strawberry. If you want something that packs a little bit of a fragrant quality to it, check out TFA's uh, strawberries. Mix it up with a little rose candy or something that uh, maybe some hibiscus or something like that. But anywhere's strawberry kiss is not the way to go. It's poo poo. All those flavors are poo poo. Don't even think about picking them up. You're just gonna waste your money. You're gonna waste your time trying to work these into your recipes. They're just gonna slam into profiles. They're gonna clash. Off notes are gonna come up. There's so many better options in those categories. I just gave you a ton of them. Hopefully this helps you save money. If you like this video, make sure that you leave a like and also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And uh, don't forget to head over to my website, diyordivaping.com. You'll get the full write up to this video and uh, you'll get to learn more about flavors and which flavorings to buy and which flavors I recommend to make your better recipes, make them more efficient so you're not wasting money, you're not wasting time. That's what I'm doing here, trying to help you save money, help you vape in the most efficient way possible. And also, don't forget to head over to my Instagram, DIY or Dive Vaping. Uh, check it out. Give me a follow if you haven't already. I'll catch y'all later. Keep mixing. Much love. Peace.